Hey, welcome back to another episode of Ready Vamanos. Today we're back in the studio because we decided not to go to downtown Disney. And instead, we took advantage of what's happening around in all the Disney shops, which is... The twice upon a year sale. Check out what we had in our Disney hall. Basically, a lot of clearance items, a lot of red ticket items. Uh, a lot of lines, but good deals. In case you guys don't even know, you guys have been sitting in a rock or something, there's been a sale over at the Disney shop is buy two things and get a third one free. And we took advantage of that. Basically. Here's what we got at the Disney shop. Oh. All right, so at the Disney store, we got a variety of things. We I'm went, going to the popular... We went to two. And actually, previously, we went to another one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Like about two weeks ago, we went to another one. So we went to pretty much three different Disney shops. We basically scouted most of the malls around here, and we've never been to the malls, so it was a nice first adventure. But, first item out here is the R2-D2 Beach Towel. This is the one that we actually got for free. <laughs> <laughs> this is the free item. This is a free the, item. Three items. Originally price tag, I, I don't know, but it's a red ticket item. And when yeah. I talk about red ticket items, I'm talking about that. So pretty much what's going on is they're trying to get rid of all their inventory from before everything went down back in March. Apparently everything was still the same when they reopened. Now they have to get rid of all that stuff and put the new stuff in there. So this is why Just they're... like in any store, there's a sale. But basically beach towels, summer, summer is over. So yeah, basically. Alright, next couple items. We got some t-shirts. All this stuff is from one Disney store that we got. We got Chewbacca shirt. <laughs> that one's pretty fun. And then for oh, business for casual you. Mondays. Yeah, business casuals. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> what do you guys think for a work shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a stripe mood today or this week and I got the mini stripe v-neck which is really nice. It has a little minis all over. Mini rainbows. No, mini bows. So that was pretty cool. So this one would be the free one. And then... Right next to the Disney store, we found a Lego store. And I went over to go check out what they had. Well, I was waiting. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so you guys know, the, the lines are freaking long. And, and they're long because of the new laws, at least here in California. Yep. And I ended up getting a TIE Fighter Pilot helmet. We're going to be building this sometime soon. And LEGO had a little promo, right? They oh, that's you, right. They gave you some gifts. LEGO had a promo with, uh, if you buy anything, I think it was like $35, you get a Speed, speed Champion. It looks like a Lamborghini. Nice. Type. It doesn't want a Lamborghini. And also the Monkey Kid. I don't know, I, I, uh, I don't know who that is, but the Monkey Kid. We visited our mall here in our city, and this is the first Disney store we encountered. What did we get? We got a whole collection. The, what is it called? The Mega? Mega Figure Set from Star Wars. This is actually was on sale for $34.98. Uh, original, original price, price 49.95 so you got a whole lot of set this looks like from episode one two three four it basically looks... the whole gang I thought it was a great buy as soon as I saw it I was like it has everyone from uh, BB-8 to well, yeah you guys pretty much see. the whole yeah. crew yeah you got Jabba, you got a Stormtrooper from the New Hope era, Han Solo, BB-8, Rey, you just, even got Darth Maul over here on the side. Just all the great characters. Yeah. So that one was definitely, we had to get it, I saw it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, so this was a pretty good buy. And it was free. <laughs> and for me, I wanted a BB-8, I actually wanted a plush collection, started the plush collection. I'm a big fan of BB-8, so as soon as I saw BB-8, we had to have him. He's plushy, he's squishy, and he's awesome. Then we got his partner, 
we ended up getting a D.O. I don't know if you guys, do you guys actually like D.O. from <laughs> from Star Wars? I've actually really debating about getting the remote control D.O. Yeah, we've seen it multiple times. Yeah. But I feel he's not very popular and you know they call him the uh, blow dryer. <laughs> blow <a> dryer. <laughs> but he's pretty cool. I thought he's cute. Again, plushy, cute. The only down part about this collection that I'm starting with the plushes is that we couldn't find R2D2. Yeah, we might have to go to another uh, store. And then the last thing we got was... This is probably uh, the best one. Darth Vader coffee mug for Father of the Year. <laughs> it's probably for Father's Day. It doesn't really matter. It's a great mug. It's massive. Good for your morning cup of coffee. I mean, like, look at this. This is really big. It's big, it's well built, it looks beautiful, and it's heavy. Out of this haul, I feel the Star Wars collection by far is the best item we got. Oh yeah, the best item that we got from, from this was definitely the Mega Set from Star Wars. And then a good second would be BB-8 and uh, Dio for me. What about you? No, I mean, that's a pretty good order. We went to a third Disney store, and we found nothing. <laughs> Basically, we didn't really find anything that was really appealing. It's one us. of the biggest stores. This was probably the biggest one, and it wasn't too bad, but. Didn't really have anything. Everything was pretty much sorted, picked through. Yeah, but we ended up going to Barnes and Noble. Out of all places! And guess what we found? <laughs> ah! A normal Stormtrooper from episode 4. Now I have. The whole collection. Boom. By the way, this one's the hardest to find. We've been to multiple Lego stores and they don't really have this one in stock. So it was really a great find that we got it at Barnes & Noble. Out of all places! <laughs> so this is adding to the newbie build series that we're going to be starting with Armando. So stay tuned. Now if you guys were wondering what the hell is this on our... What is this mess right here? Well this is the other puzzle that we've been working on for a quiet... Bit. We're almost done. Yeah, probably yeah. another couple of days, but, but yeah, this, this, this is we didn't we didn't like commit to a whole day of building. Basically, it's like when we have time between breakfast, lunch, to chatting, not working. Yeah, yeah, after work, something like that. After editing this video. Yeah. Probably. So this is the <laughs> Matterhorn boss sled, and it comes from that series of three puzzles, which we have already showed you in previous videos. Right over here. But it's going well. I'm really happy with this choice of puzzle. Mm -hmm. They're hard, but they're not too hard. At least for us amateurs. I mean, we're not big puzzlers. Yeah, 500 pieces. Yeah, I ain't yeah. too bad. This is, I think this is probably the easiest one out of since the last out one. Out of the series, yeah, because yeah. it's colored. Actually, it has color. That's our haul. Did you guys go to the Twice Upon a Year sale? What did you get? Let us know in the comments below. All right, don't forget to like this recommended video. Whatever it's on there. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a magical day. <laughs> Two fingers. <laughs>